nobody was making movies this good when we made this movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Nice. Right. Right. So that doesn't sound, doesn't sound wanky, does it? Does that sound wanky <laughs> so, at all? So, like, uh, Emma, I read that you, you came on pretty late in the process. Like, there's always like a few before the few day, first uh, few days of shooting. So, and I really enjoyed the both the chemistry you guys both had. So, was it really that instantaneous that when you first met Tyler? Yeah. Yes, it was. We we got along. We got along uh, right away, and our relationship has since right in the dumper spiral. Just I mean, out of control. Awful. It was one of yeah. those really, you know. Hot and heavy right at the top. Well, we kept trying line. to recapture that, you know, after the movie, and it yeah. just it was like we were both trying too hard and yeah. just ended up rubbing each other the wrong way. And yeah. Now it's just sad. Uh, <laughs> no. But yes, right in the beginning, those were the those <clears throat> were the salad days. That they was were great. definitely the salad days. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. We were there during the Calgary Stampede and I, you know, yeah. we just we just bonded over a lot of a lot of things, a lot of good things right away. We approached the movie the same way. We both wanted to get to work pretty fast, and that's rare. Yeah, we did. I remember we had a moment uh, where we actually got together and like wrote out like a backstory and decided where exactly we were from in West Virginia. And like I made up my last name. We can't remember his, but we uh, we like we sort of like did like actor work. And we I remember we looked at each other. We were like, holy shit. <laughs> We're actors, man. This is what actors do. Look at us acting. We're being actors, and you know, it was a good, it was a good moment. Pretty geeky. It was geeky, yeah. but it was uh, the best kind of geeky. Yeah. So, uh, like, no, I, what I really love about Dale is, like, in, in almost any other movie, he'd be just, you know, just the big dumb guy yeah. that just kind of stumbles around. But he's like, there's a lot more to Dale. I mean, was that one of the kind of things that really drew you into this project? That it was much more than just the the big kind of goof, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I've made a pretty decent career out of playing. The big galoot, as you put it, <laughs> and um, I, uh, you get you, after a while, you sort of get that, you know, you're like come on, there's, there's got to be an interest in actually getting to know this guy or something, you know. And as an actor, you start to thirst for that too. And uh, Eli wrote this script about about the big galoot, which was like, you know, you get to see it. it's a three dimensional character, and he actually, you know, it's like a big, sweet, dumb animal, and I, I really liked playing that. And stripping away anything that I've sort of established as being a bit of like a smart ass or a snarky, you know, chubby best friend or whatever. It's like this guy ended up being, you know, a, truly a hillbilly with a heart of gold. And I like that. I like that someone was giving that character, you know, the opportunity to, to flesh it out. It was great too, like watching watching you guys with Katrina too, because Katrina's character also, there's a lot more to her than you, you see this kind of rich, kind of privileged college girl, and there's a lot more to her as well. So like, can you talk about just getting to work with her on the set and, uh, what she was really like. Yes, I, I could. I will. I'll do it right now. Tell, tell him. I will do it right now. Tell him. Um, Lay the truth on him. I'm, I'm, get ready for this, all right? <laughs> Got some hot and heavy truth coming your way. Sounds good. Hot. Katrina Bowden is more than meets the eye. Ooh. That's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, pretty easy for people to you know watch her as Suri on 30 Rock or even just to meet this petite, beautiful, you know, I think she was just named one of the Sexiest women alive, or something. I don't know. I mean, sexiest women under twelve. <laughs> under twelve, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a, it's a, it's a hot category right now. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, the the real trick to Katrina is that she's really smart. She's well read. She's a very charming, sweet young lady, and that's sort of again, that's like a testament to Eli. Again, he saw, you know, in in uh, Katrina that there was probably something that she wanted to get out there, you know, mm -hmm. and show like, hey, I'm more than just this, and that's what that character was. And that's what Katrina kind of is in real life. She's she's a bit of a, she's a bit of an anomaly. She she definitely uh, surprises you. But speaking of her brain, <coughs> you, I was I yeah yeah okay. You kissed her. I kissed her brain. Well, well, it's right near it. <clears throat> yeah. One to ten, what was it like? Ten being your wife. The worst. Oh. Out of respect. <laughs> um, yeah, ten. I would say okay. Well, this is a tricky question because the kiss was awkward. I was worried that people would literally be throwing up in the uh, aisles watching me kiss Katrina Bone because I was a big in, bearded, you know, fucking in my, pop, in my popcorn. It wasn't in the it, aisle. No, in okay, in the popcorn. But any, anywhere near or on mm -hmm. your, your own person, mm -hmm. people were going to be throwing up. So I kept saying to Eli, like, should we make this really, like, like a peck? Should we make this really clean and tight, you know? And he was like, I don't know, just kiss, just kiss each other. And... Um, it, we went for it, and it was good. It was good. My beard got in the way. It was a big fucking beard at the time. But uh, I remember the one funny thing was that I think Katrina might have initially had a hard time finding my mouth. 
<laughs> there was a lot of kissing down here and then, move, and then me correcting and bringing the lips together. I think it was just lost in a pile of hair. My, my mouth. And her mouth, eventually. <clears throat> yeah. I'd give it a six. Thank you. Just to put it on the numerical scale that you asked for. Yeah. Yeah. No. Can you talk about work with Eli and how much, like, how much did you guys get to improvise a lot on the set, or was it? I mean, I know you only had about a month to shoot this, so yeah, was it pretty much stick pretty close to the script, or did you were you allowed to kind of go off and do your own thing? Yes, we we did. We um, improvised a lot, but. You know, it was, we had a very short amount of time to shoot in, and so uh, we were required to, basically, to, you know, you'd, you'd get to a location that wasn't quite right, or the way it was in the script, it, you know, it's like, we need to sort of fill in, you know, make this, we need a bridge to make Acting this work. Acting Bondo. Yeah, so, yeah. so that, that fell to us, and then to also to Eli. Um, and, and then also he would give us, he, he gave us room to play, you know. Yeah. We, we knew we knew what we were doing in the scene, and so we, if we had a few extra things to say that got us, got us to, <clears throat> to the, to the point, thank uh, you. then uh, it was uh, it was it was it was uh, wholeheartedly encouraged. Thank you. Yes. So just uh, what would you like to say to people who might be curious about uh, Tucker Dale versus Eva, about whether they should check it out on VOD or in theaters on the thirtieth? Both. First of all, you should be yeah. doing both, yeah. VOD then the cinemas. Did I just call them cinemas? <laughs> <laughs> the theaters. <laughs> yeah. um, go to the, go to the, the watch a, a good talkie. It's a talkie. It is. Um, I, I would just say, we've done this so much now. Um, you get tired of hearing yourself talk about why it's a good movie. It's just a good movie. It's a funny movie. If you like good movies and you want to laugh, yeah. go watch this movie. Don't dissect it. Watch it a few it. times. Yeah, don't think too hard. Just watch Walk it. Walk in the doors and love. Yeah. Or stay at home and crack a beer and love. PBR, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers.